Welcome back, Jacket Nation, to another episode of Inside the Hive. I'm Derek Lucas, and joining me today is a senior on the men's basketball team, Mike Parker. Mike, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Mike, if you could give the viewers a little bit about you outside of basketball. Well, I'm an exercise science major. Um, I love training, so right now I'm internshiping at the Y, um, training just any, from any age group, really, just helping out and giving back and just giving back to the youth, really. I like doing that, so... All right, now we want to talk a little bit about you this year, um, as this is the end of your career, your fourth year of basketball. So a couple things this year. Um, first, a couple weeks ago, you dropped 41 points at Franklin, and that was your career high points here at Defiance College. So what does it mean to you to wind down your career with such a great offensive game? Well, you know, I just enjoy playing this game so much, and every opportunity I have, I just try to take advantage. So when I have a brotherhood that we have as a group uh, with this team, you know, you know, they just kept feeding me. I was hot, and I just got it going. and. It's just all a part of the game. It's just a great experience. Now, another milestone for you this year was uh, about last month, you reached the 1,000 career point milestone at Bluffton. And uh, so what does that mean for you then here to wrap up your career overall with such a big milestone? Well, you know, I work so hard at this every day. And just being able to have the opportunity to reach 1,000 points is it's a great accomplishment. And I just thank everybody that's brought me along on, on the way. All right, now let's shift the focus of this to the team. You guys are 6-17 and 17 overall this year. Yeah. Um, while the record may not look pretty, you guys do have a chance left in conference, and you have to win your last two games against Manchester and Rose Holman. So what's it going to take for you guys to pull out the last two victories and get into the conference tournament? Yeah, well, it's been a fight all season, and we haven't been able to get over that hump that we need to get to. Uh, that's all we need to do. We need to get over that hump. We've been challenged through adversity, and we just got to find a way to get it done. That's all it is. And so then let's look at if you guys don't make it, it's the negative, but if you don't make it and you're going to wrap up your fourth year here, your career, um, not getting into the conference tournament after being conference champion three times, what are you going to take away from this when you walk away from the game? Oh, well, I'm just going to take away, you know, I just hope that the, the guys that I'm here with understand like what it takes and how to develop as a man. That's one of the biggest things. Um, Learning from my freshman year, then coming here my sophomore year, and then junior year, then senior year, it's just a big development overall. And from an 18-year-old boy to a 22-year-old man, I just hope that they realize all the hard work it takes and how to really approach life. And that's like the biggest thing is I hope I give back to them. Now, we always do this to give your pitch for somebody to come here. So as you're leaving and you've left your legacy here on this basketball team, what would you tell somebody that wants to come play college basketball at Defiance College? What would be your pitch to them? Oh, basically what I just said, uh, every year we have a group of seniors that really teach and teach these young guys how to become men. And every year it's like once a, once a freshman comes and then he becomes a sophomore, then he becomes a junior. Then by the time you're a senior, you know you've been through it and you've been through it all. And now it's time to give back and show these young guys what is done. It's basically it's a lifelong brotherhood and that's it's just a great experience, one of, one of, one of a kind. Really. Now before we get out of here, I want to give you a chance to look back. So your four years of college basketball at Defiance College, what's going to be the one thing that stands out as your greatest memory? Oh gosh, there's a lot of great memories. Um, I have two, is that all right if I yep. say a couple? Well, just being in the locker room with the guys, oh my gosh, we have such great moments in there. Um, the road trips, a great accomplishment I had personally and as a team uh, was last year, game winner against Rose Holman. Uh, it was to win conference, win out, host it here, and it was just a great experience. All of that everywhere around, all the community, all the support. It's just it's life changing, really. It made me boosted my confidence as a person, as a basketball player, and it gave it allowed me to give back to everybody else, which is unexplainable, really. Now, again, the basketball team's going to wrap up their season here at home on Saturday against Rose Holman. So if you guys want to check that out, stay up to date with the basketball team on defianceathletics.com. Also, check out the doubleheader this weekend on Yellow Jacket Sports Network. So on Mike, on behalf of all of us at Jacket Nation, we want to thank you for all that you've done for the basketball program and the great four years you've had here. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's going to do it for this episode of Inside the Hive. I'm Derek Lucas. Thank you for watching.